Hey guys, it's Block Thief. Today I'll be reviewing for you set 75081 T16 Skyhopper. It's 247 pieces, has two and a half minifigures. I'll tell you why I'm adding a half later, and it's ages 7 to 12. This set is actually a pretty good set. Did it did take me about 35 minutes to build um, because of the extensive build on the wing, which was mostly pieces from the Technic line, and I'm not I'm not very quick with Technic pieces, I'm quick with bricks. So you can see the the reason there. But any other notes about it other than the new Tuscan Raider? This guy is wonderful. Like, compared to the old one, he's got a new mold for a head, new torso printing, new leg printing. The old one didn't even have any. And just a lighter color on the... Just, it's a darker brown everywhere. Um, the respirator is newer, and now he's got a weapon. So it's much better. The T-16 pilot, well, he's not, like, there isn't a problem with him, it's just that there's a small defect. Um, just the fact that we're not, we don't know if this is Luke Skywalker or not, because we know that Luke had a T-16 Skyhopper. And, as you can see here, it only says... T16 pilot. Not sure if you can see that there, but there, Skyhopper pilot. And both of them, both the minifigures are new, which is good, but yeah. Let's get on with the main part of the set. As I said, it took me 35 minutes to build, but it is worth the price. I got this for $29.99 in Canada. And it comes with two spring-loaded shooters, one on each wing. So it has a bottom main blaster. And another cool thing is that here, it's not a regular cockpit. Because you have the wing in the middle. And then here, how are you going to get the, the guy in? So what they did was Lego used their smarts, which they always have. And... They created this system of, oops, this piece always comes off, An another note too. Um, here, you can just open it. You have, I'm pretty sure it's the size of a 2x4 piece, but it's a hinged piece. And they assemble in the middle, here, and basically it opens and closes like that. You also have the stickers, here on the windows and it kind of makes it look like a person. Um, you can put the pilot in. There's a small crate here. Whoops. And in that crate there is the pistol of the pilot. There's a small make-believe engine at the back also. And a note about the stickers. Okay, stickers. I don't like it when there's a lot of stickers in the Lego set. I really don't like it because it makes the Lego set more materialistic and more non non antique looking. In this set, there were a number of stickers actually. There's two on the cockpit, one on the wing, two on the sides. Um, I'm pretty sure nowhere else. Yeah. And overall, I'm giving this Lego set a... didn't think of this before, I did, I am doing this review, so... Right now, I'm thinking that I'm going to give it a... 7 out of 10. 1. The stickers. 2. The fact that it includes a rat. And, well... Another thing I don't like about Lego sets is I want a set which all the minifigures can enjoy. Tuscan Raider can't enjoy a uh, T-16 Skyhopper blasting, uh, blasting him out of the way. Nor the rat. The pilot can enjoy it, 
but not the other uh, minifigures. So that's one thing I don't like. Ooh, chair is creaky. So, like the Attack on Lake Town set, which I hope you guys have seen my review of that. It's a good set, and everybody fits in it. Like the orcs are attacking Bard and Bane and Toriel, and there we go. But in this, two of three minifigures are not enjoying the set. So, as my memory card is running out of memory, I'm going to finish this off and say, have a great day.